वेलकम आई एम डॉक्टर नेहा चौधरी आई एम अ कंसल्टेंट ब्रेस्ट सर्जन एट नारायणा सुपर स्पेशलिटी हॉस्पिटल हावड़ा विद अस वी हैव टुडे डॉक्टर मोनिका मंडल शी इज अ कंसल्टेंट रेडिएशन ऑनकोलॉजिस्ट एट नारायणा सुपर स्पेशलिटी हावड़ा टुडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट स्मॉलर एंड बिगर एस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ रेडिएशन इन ब्रेस्ट कैंसर डॉक्टर मोनिका माय फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन टू यू इज व्हाट एग्जैक्टली इज रेडिएशन अ लॉट ऑफ आवर पेशेंट्स they don't understand how radiation is given what it is why it is given so can you give us a short idea about what is radiation first radiation means high energy x rays the normal x ray which you have undergone during a chest x ray session it's very low energy and in here we use high energy radiations to kill the cell by making dna damages so the cancer cell which proliferates very fast due to the dna we actually target those dns double strand they causes double stranded break and so by that way the cancer cells stops growing and uh, we also take care so that the normal tissue cells are not damaged by those x rays high energy x rays okay excellent so radiation are those rays which will kill your cancer cells but not damage your normal cells so much So, Doctor Mani, Deepa, exactly which patients need radiation in breast? Now, there are two type of patients we uh, see in the clinic. That is, post mastectomy, where the breast is not conserved, the whole breast has been operated. That is mastectomy cases, and if there, if the tumor is in the early stage, T1, T2 tumor, then uh, uh, and there is no node in the axilla, no negative cases, and it is post mastectomy. In some, that those cases, we can avoid radiation. But uh, those patients who have undergone lumpectomy, uh, that is breast conservation surgery, and also those patients who are having uh, higher tumor stage, a uh, higher tumor uh, stage along with mastectomy, they will be requiring radiation. So all lumpectomy cases, all patients who have undergone breast conservation surgery will require radiation. So, so radiation, there is a specific indication of which patients need radiation. But in just if you are conserving the breast, definitely you need radiation. But if you are removing the breast, then maybe if it is a higher stage or it has already gone to the node, you will need radiation. Now, when do we give radiation? Exactly at which part of the treatment? Yeah. So uh, after surgery, surgery is the mainstay of treatment. So after surgery, usually chemotherapy is given. And if you require actual chemotherapy, in that case, uh, patient. We require chemotherapy. After completion of the chemotherapy, we do radiation. And after radiation, and along with radiation, if you require hormonal treatment, we'll be giving with that the hormonal treatment also. Okay, perfect. So uh, a lot of time, our patients are very worried about the logistics, about how long the radiation will take, how much they have to stay, uh, how much every day when they come to OPD, how how will it be done? Can you explain to me the process of how a patient who's finished uh, surgery and chemotherapy, once they come to your OPD, how is radiation planned? How much they have to stay? How much time is taken in OPD? What is the process? Yes. So, if uh, the patient has undergone mastectomy, then usually we give the dose of 40 gram, 15 fraction. So, total dose, uh, total fraction is 50. So uh, the days they are uh, taking treatment, it will be 15, which is five days in a week. So total three weeks. And those patients who have undergone lumpectomy, they will receive another extra week of treatment. That means four weeks. Four. So this is usual treatment. But now there is also evidence of extreme hyperfractionation, where in some cases of early stage breast cancer, we can also complete the treatment within. Two weeks for those patients who have undergone lumpectomy, and within one week for those who have undergone a mastectomy. So these who are those patients? Actually, they are the early breast cancer patients with no negative, and certain also early uh, N1 disease means no positive disease. But we have to assess the patient whether this type of extreme hyperfractionation can be given or not. But in general, three weeks for MRN and four weeks for lumpectomy patients. And also, what uh, what exactly is done is that after they come to our OPD, we do our simulation scan, which is a normal CT scan, but in a particular treatment position with our breast board and hand above the head, so that this can be simulated every day during 
our process of radiotherapy. So that first day we do the simulation. After that, after two three days, we take for planning. After that, we call the patient and we start our treatment. Okay, perfect. So if a patient is taking radiation, say for four weeks or three weeks, how long every day does it take them? You know, for so every day, the opening in the morning, say nine o'clock. How long does it take for the radiation? No, actually the treatment procedure within the machine room is about ten minutes. Okay. But there will be some waiting hour because we have a long waiting list of patients. So actually they have to devote uh, one hour maximum for this radiation therapy every day. So just one hour of radiation every day. That's all. Okay. Now after uh, radiation is finished or during radiation, what are the precautions or steps that the patient can take? Or what do you recommend? The first thing is caring of the skin because uh, radiation induced dermatitis, mostly grade one. These are common. That means your skin will be darkened up. So to uh, prevent that or to lessen that, we just advise the patient to not apply any ointment, anything except water. They can take a normal bath, but not to give soap or any kind of oil. And also during those days to wear loose cotton clothes and not to wear inner garments during those only 15 days or 20 days whatever. And then we also suggest that uh, there will be in certain cases we give uh, nodal irradiation. Uh, there will be some uh, sort of sore throat. For the sore throat uh, we suggest some amount of the anesthetic gel. And we also suggest some analgesics which has to be taken during course of RT. And after the RT is completed, those uh, complaints will completely be gone. So, and after radiotherapy, there in certain cases like those patients having pendulum breast, they may uh, suffer from edema of the breast or swelling of the breast or engorgement. Patient will complain that the breast are engorged. So, in that cases, we also suggest uh, some form of massage which will show the patient when they come to the, our uh, or during treatment procedure. But that has to be done after completion of the radiotherapy. Perfect. So, I think these are a lot of valuable questions which our patients have in OPD and uh, usually uh, we don't get so much time to describe it to them and they probably want to hear it again. So, this is going to be very useful to them. Any last uh, message or tip that you would like to give to our patients who are undergoing radiation or who have completed radiation? So radiotherapy is a completely a non-invasive technique. There is another invasive form but now this has gone off in Frankfurt because of this hypofractionation which is a completely non-invasive technique. So uh, nothing to fear about radiotherapy and the side effects are minimal in most cases. So if you are having an indication of the radiotherapy, you can take it without any fear. And those who have completed, in, uh, please undergo regular checkup because in spite of doing everything, the tumor can come back. So in any OPD, please do a follow-up checkup and everything, everything will be fine for